The multi-billion dollar hair coloring industry might be in for a bumpy ride ahead. It's generally always been assumed that once hair goes gray, it stays that way. But a new study might be calling that into question. The study is from researchers at Columbia University. And it's the first study of its kind to find evidence of natural repigmentation, aka the possibility of actually reversing gray hair. <laughs> it could be huge news, but there's a lot more we have to figure out, so we'll recap. The researchers set out to make a computer model of how hair turns gray, both in response to age and also with stress. First, they identified 323 proteins that tell us whether a hair was gray, white, or colored at any point in history. Then they snipped colored and gray hairs from 14 participants who rated how much stress they felt in the last year, because we know there's a connection between graying and stress. What we didn't know, at least until this study, was that the reverse might be true, which means de-stressing could actually bring the color back. That would be so great for my hair. <laughs> the study looked at the protein history of the hairs and the history of the person that the hair belonged to in terms of stress level. Turns out some normal colored hair that had been gray in the last year due to stress went back to normal when life stress was low. A lead author on the study noted that they were especially surprised how impactful one type of de-stressing event, just taking a vacation, could be on the reversal of gray hair. They pointed out that after one participant went on a two-week vacation, five of their hairs regained color afterwards. But before everyone starts booking a vacation, and before the tourism industry starts exclusively catering to people with gray hair, there's a lot we still need to nail down about the science. For one thing, more studies are needed to see if the recoloring effects can actually happen after the age of 40. It didn't for the participants in the Columbia study. At a cellular level, when hair regains color, it's all about stem cells swinging into action. We're in the golden age of stem cell research, but hair is a relatively new focus, partly because we had no idea they were powerful enough to potentially recolor our graying hair. Melanocytes are the type of stem cell that lives in our hair follicles. Some studies suggest there's a limited amount of melanocytes up there. When they're done, so is your hair color, but for now it's only been shown in mice. Melanocytes may also be replenished by transient stem cells, which might account for the repigmentation Columbia researchers found in humans. For now, there's a lot more study needed. But if other people are able to replicate the findings, the implications are huge. Science might one day find extreme commitment to de-stressing can reverse hair color loss at any age. Or we might develop new stem cell therapies to reverse our melaconites in later life. And outside of the conversation about gray hair, there is one thing we know for sure from study after study. We're all way too stressed, and it's not optimal for employees or employers. Another eye-opening piece of research that came out in 2020 found that a five-hour workday was optimal for productivity, anything longer than that, and you start to burn people out in the long run. The findings from the world's largest trial of a shorter work week were published too, and predictably, people were happier, healthier, and more productive. Go figure. So maybe one day your manager will inspect your head for gray hairs before sending you off on your mandatory vacation. For now though, we're still waiting to learn just a bit more. Give regards to your melaconites in the meantime.